Hello, I'm Chocker Mama, and I'm going to give you three great reasons to make your own raw chocolate at home. Reason number one. Raw chocolate is easy to make at home. It's easy to get the ingredients and the equipment you'll need will be found in most kitchens. You don't need to buy specialist equipment. Many serious raw chocolate makers will use a dehydrator or even a stone grinder, but when you're starting out, delicious, healthy treats can be made with basic kitchen equipment. You don't need any professional chocolate making skills when you're beginning. Later on, you can learn how to temper chocolate, which is great. But at first, you can keep it really simple and still produce lovely results. You can make a batch of raw chocolates in no time at all. You might just fancy something sweet or you might want to make a gift for somebody. And what a lovely gift too, homemade chocolates. Reason two. You can customise the chocolate to suit you and your family's needs and tastes. For instance, at home you can sweeten the chocolate using, for example, maple syrup or coconut sugar. They complement chocolate so well. And if low carb is important to you, yacon syrup can be used. And for those on a keto diet, zero sugar sweeteners like erythritol and xylitol work well. Check out my videos on keto chocolate making. Most sweeteners aren't raw, but gently dried and powdered mulberries can work very well to sweeten. And if you're not vegan, raw honey can be used. Raw chocolate is always sweetened with natural sweeteners. Commercial chocolate is really sweet with a high proportion of white sugar and may be sweeter than it needs to be for your taste. And when you make your own, you're in charge. And of course, you can experiment along the way. Reason number three. And this could be the most important and why I'm focusing on raw chocolate. Raw chocolate is a healthy food to make for you and your loved ones. Natural cacao is nutrient dense. Raw chocolate keeps the integrity of any nutrients that are damaged by high heat. Cacao is high in magnesium, healthy fats and antioxidants. Magnesium powers and supports the heart, the brain and the bones. It relaxes muscles and increases flexibility. Apparently, it's the most deficient major mineral for those eating the average Western diet, and many people don't get enough. One of the primary sources of magnesium in nature is cacao. So, let's eat more chocolate. The raw chocolate I teach people to make has high levels of cacao butter in it. Cacao butter is a high-quality, very stable fat. It can stay fresh for two years or more. Some people believe, me included, that highly stable fats are good for us to eat. Good for our skin, heart and brains. All dark chocolate has very useful amounts of antioxidants in it and keeping it raw minimises any heat damage. Antioxidants help to neutralise free radicals which are waste substances produced by our bodies as the cells process food, for instance. Eating foods high in antioxidants can be a great health boost. You can make raw chocolate at home easily with children. It's lovely for children to take part in making something so delicious from scratch. You can show them that healthy treats can be really good. Most chocolate aimed at children is generic and unimaginative. This way you get to decide the quality of chocolate that they're introduced to early on. They will learn how to customise their chocolate treats. How cool is that? What child could resist if you ask them, do you want to make chocolate with me?